boy, do I have a special treat for you guys. Welcome back, Empire Motor Club vlog. I'm in a Corvette, American badass, American V8 muscle. Woo! I love American muscle. What a treat it is to be in a C7 Z51 Corvette driving around the Taiwan coastline. Wow, beautiful day, beautiful car. First, I wanna give a special shout out to Michael Yang of Autoholics Racing in Taiwan. They distribute the UK brand Alcon Brakes under the company Autoholics, which they also distribute a bunch of uh, wax and detailing products. And today, I am driving Michael's car. I told him, hey, give me the car for the morning. I'm gonna put it in the vlog. I love all cars. As you guys know, I love JDM, I love Euro, I love supercars, Italians, British, but I have a soft spot for American muscle. A couple years ago, I had a project called Heihu, Black Tiger. It was a 2012 Dodge Challenger SRT8, the 6.4 liter Hemi engine. I liberty walk that shit. <laughs> but this car, completely different animal. And uh, today, before we get into more car stuff, I wanna show you what I'm wearing. So watch of the day. Right here, this is the watch of the day. It is an AP 15305 ST. It is an open work skeleton. It is not the newest double balanced open work skeleton. It is the discontinued 39 millimeter open work skeleton. There's a new 41 millimeter open work skeleton and that is a little bit bigger, obviously 41 versus the 39, but I prefer the 39. Of course I would wanna have the double balanced open work skeleton, but there's something charming about the 39 millimeter and it fits right on the wrist. You know, it, it's kind of like this Corvette. It's badass, everyone knows what it is. It's not the newest, but it's not an older version. And I think it's just right. Um, obviously, there's always gonna be newer and better, but sometimes you just gotta appreciate what you have. I really love it. It's kind of like my everyday go-to watch now. Hope you guys enjoy uh, talking watches with me. And what I noticed about this car is that it's got a mode select. So it's got a wet mode, eco mode, touring mode, uh, sport mode, and a track mode. We will put it in the track mode so you guys can hear how bad this badass out. What an American badass! Woohoo! So we just got to my favorite spot. We got the top down, it feels really good. And uh, before I get out and introduce you guys to the car and the exterior and the modifications, I think that the interior is actually quite supple. Um, compared to the older generation Corvettes, uh, it's got you know more leather. The infotainment system is very user-friendly. I did not try to use it that much. You know, it's got Bluetooth, it's got all the essentials that we need. You know, everything is designed like a cockpit. It feels really good. It's centered around the driver. The seats are really comfortable. The only thing is that because I'm taller, I'm six foot two, I'm 188, the visors kind of get in the way when I'm driving when the top's down. So for it to look good, kind of push it down, but 
if it leaves if I leave it up it looks kind of weird it's really not that important what's cool is this this is fucking cool <laughs> especially on a nice day let's pop the hood and let's check it out so this z51 stingray corvette is a 6.2 liter v8 eight cylinder seven speed it's got 455 horsepower and 460 pounds of torque now as you can see if you guys come around here he has installed an afe carbon fiber intake this is huge. I can see the air filter right here. And he's also got a Corsa X-Pipe and the Corsa rear section with quad exhaust tips. That's why it sounds so badass. Let me close the hood so we can take you around the back. As you can see, Arctech front carbon fiber splitter. This is real carbon fiber. This is really cool. Uh, it also leads around Arctech side skirts and wing, like kind of like a duck wing with the lights on and also the rear diffuser, which is like a huge piece. And as you can see, the course of performance exhaust, quad tips. These are titanium tips, I'm assuming, based on the color. And uh, I'm assuming these are a little bit more lightweight. So what he did with this Corvette, I really, really like, is he used Alcon RC6 brake calipers and 400 millimeter rotors in the front and RC4 caliper 380 millimeter rotors in the rear. And what I like about this setup is that it's not the conventional brake system that you think would happen on a Corvette. That's what I appreciate about everyone's own personal tastes on modifying cars. It's about your own personal preference and what you like, and that is the most important, whatever makes you happy. So I think it's really cool to see some Alcon brakes on a Corvette. I'm gonna tell you what I think about this car. Just like I said before, I love American muscle cars. I think my favorite might be like the C3. This is the C7. The C7 is a beautifully designed car. You know what, the Corvette to me is kind of like the supercar for everyone. The Corvette is priced very favorably. I mean, this is something that's very, very fast and it's a sports car. It's got a targa top and it reminds me of my own Nissan GTR. They're both kind of like the everyday supercar, but they're not exactly a real supercar. They're not like the Italians or, you know, the British supercars, but for an American car, it's really badass. And the GTR for a Japanese car, it's super badass. So I think we need to have a head-to-head, -head, off the line, straight line performance test, just to see how fast the Corvette goes. This is a 2014, it is not the C8, it's the C7. I do think the GTR will be faster. We should do it just for the hell of it and just because we're EMC. Let's have some fun. All right, so I am in all R mode and uh, we got a buddy in the car on the Corvette and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Damn, that was pretty fun. <laughs> this is a uh, four wheel drive. It's got like a hundred horsepower more. Uh, it's probably a little heavier than the Corvette. However, that car is still an amazing car. So let's do it one more time for you guys. As you can see from the GoPros, he got the jump on me this time, but I gained, I conquered, beat him fair and square. Hey, GTR is a GTR for a reason. I respect everyone's modifications, everything that you guys do to your own cars. It's about putting your own taste and your own spin and your own personality into your own cars. And it's a lifestyle. This is what it's about. And this is what EMC is about. So if you guys got any cool cars for me, let me know in the comments. Next time, maybe we'll do something with your car. 
Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned, hit that like button and subscribe. And hey, the GTR is gonna have some modifications very, very soon. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.